Okay, so in this video series, we're going to start a small project, which we're going to create a lab environment using Hyper-V. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Windows Server 2022. If you haven't um, watched the blog post or read the blog post about how to enable Hyper-V on Windows, then make sure you do that before starting this. Um, so first things first, we've got Hyper-V Manager here. You're going to click New. And you're going to click virtual machine and then click next and then give your virtual machine a name so let's call it server 2022 that's fine and then generation 2 is quite a modern operating system and you're going to assign some memory to it now this is important um you if you, the more memory you, you give your virtual machine the, the more you take away from your host so you're going to see significant performance issues if you gives too much memory and pay attention to the actual physical memory that you have in your machine. Um, my laptop's got roughly around 16 gigs, so I'm just going to stick with a 4 gig for now. And then this is an important step, so make sure you check this, this virtual switch to default switch. And then you need to assign it some hot, uh, actual storage space, so 50 gigs fine for a server. And then you're going to select the operating system. So pre-downloaded server 2022 from the evaluation store on Microsoft, which is free for 180 days. So that's creating our machine. Now let's just check some other settings here. So we'll click on settings down the right. Go to security, enable trust platform module. And then we should be okay. Okay, cool. so click start, click connect. So we may not have been fast enough on the on the key press there, so just press action and reset. And then press any key when it comes up with that message. You can make the screen bigger then. Okay, so the currency format is going to be UK, and then click next, and then click to install now. Okay, so an important bit here, um, we want to choose a standard desktop experience. Um, standard evaluation copy is just a command line, so quite a lot of server experiences from data centers, etc. will have um, the command line only to save storage space, but we want the full GUI experience. So click next. Agree to the terms. Select custom, and then your drive will be there, that 50 gig that you created. And then install a file. Now, this will take a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna fast forward it and come back when we need to do something. Okay, so we're back. So. That took a couple of minutes, the server rebooted a few times. Now we're going to create a password for the default administrator account so on server 2022 and most servers before that, it already populates a username for you as administrator. So we're going to need to create a password that has a capital letter, has at least eight characters and a number. Okay, click connect. You want to make the screen bigger, just change it to large. And then Type your password in, and that should be that. Your server is loaded, you are ready. Okay, so uh, make sure you select uh, the network when it pulls that through, and then that is it for now. That's installed server 22, 2022 on Hyper V. And in the next video, we'll just do some quick configurations to get our server ready.